What's up everybody? It's your girl Bake and we are back with another YouTube video. As y'all know from my previous videos, I got my CDO permit. I went to CDO school. I graduated from CDO school. I obtained my CDO and then I went on my trainer. So man, it's been five months. Where have I been? It's been five months. Where have you been? Y'all been hitting me up, DMing me on every platform, asking where you at, where the vids at, how's it going, where's the update? Drop a video. Well, during the past five months, I've been gaining my experience. Just to give y'all a good review of how this stuff really go. I want to show y'all how the checks was gonna really be, if it was consistent or not. All right, man, where have I been up to? Why haven't I been dropping? To reach my goal in order to get to my next step in my trucking career. And when I get there, that's when the real bank is gonna be coming out. So subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned so I can follow my trucking journey. And the number one important thing I've been keeping God first, man. In the Bible, it says, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all things will be added unto you. As in seeking him, do good, don't sin, and then that's when you will add the stuff you need and you want into your life. So that's what I've been doing. And it also said, God is a rewarder to those who diligently seek him. So that's what I've been doing these past couple months, just gaining my experience and growing in every area of my life. So what happened at the CDO school? As y'all know, I passed my CDO test, then I went to the DMV, I got my hard copy. Um, I went to the Top Gun program for a week, I graduated at Top Gun is basically just extra training so you could get time taken off on the road with your mentor. So you go on the road for four weeks with your mentor, but once you graduate the Top Gun program, they take two weeks off, so you just have two weeks. So I passed that class, uh, my, my mentor called me like the day, the day after, and I met him, and he, took, he gave me a time and date location to meet up for training. He was local, so I was home every night. I didn't have to sleep in the truck. I was right in my bed every night. I live in Atlanta, so what we did was we went from Atlanta to Tennessee every day. And Tennessee is like two hours away from Atlanta. We'll wake up around like 4 a.m., 4 to 5 a.m. every morning. And I'll drive to his crib. We'll go to Starbucks, we'll go to McDonald's, we'll get some breakfast. Then we'll go to his truck. This man's truck was parked by his house every day. He's home every night working for Swift. So then we'll go pick up a load, and we only did dropping hooks. Yeah, during my whole training, we just did straight dropping hooks. And then we get a load, then we head up to Tennessee and drove and drive that two hours. On a good day, we could have went to Tennessee and back three times, but if we would have woke up late and got extra sleep in, we only could like did like two runs to Tennessee. But like sometimes he'll like drop me off home after we do our loads and then he'll go run back to Tennessee like in the middle of the night, like two, two, three a.m. and he'll just go, 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 um, and do the loads by himself. And then he'll be so tired the whole time. The next day, he'll just let me drive and he'll sleep in the back while I'm driving. But yeah, that's how it really was. We wake up like 4, 5 a.m. Um, on, on a good day, we'll get done like around 8 p.m. But if we would've woke up late, then I would've got home like at 12, 1, 2, 3 a.m. Uh, the first week he drove, just to show me how everything go. Like he would just show me um, how to do everything, um, get me familiar with everything. And then he'll let me drive a little bit and let me take over. And after that, I would just drive most of the time. So basically what I did was I drove, dropped the hooks, swept the trailer, slide the tandem, just stuff like that. It was good. My training was good. It went, it went well. Um, at first, I did struggle opening the trailer doors, man. It was hard. Man. It was rusty. And also, I struggled at first, like, with the crank handle when it was rusty and when it was um, too deep in the ground. You know what I'm saying? That was hard at first, too. Sometimes it, it was hard to... Um, to push it, he had to come out and help me. People were really cranking the handle all the way down the mud and they get stuck. So you had to use you had to use your full strength just to pull it back up. So one day it got stuck. I had to call my mentor out. I was like, can you please help me twist it? So he came out. He was using his muscles, stuff like that. He got it out. And he turned around, he looked at me, he's like, I can't keep helping you do this. He said, You gonna have to do this on your own. You're gonna be out here by yourself, you a female, with nobody around. I was like, dang, like, so next time I got stuck, I ain't call him out. I was like, right, I got this, man. So position right. I position right. Put my legs into it and I pushed it. I was struggling at first. I ain't about to cap. But as I kept doing it, I eventually got it. I was like, yeah, man, I ain't need. I, and after that, I ain't need him no more. I ain't need nobody to help me no more. Training with my mentor, it was really helpful for me, especially like driving on the streets and stuff. And now I'm better driving the trailer on the streets in the tight spaces and stuff like that. Like, especially with backing, I'm way more comfortable with backing. Backing up in a real life scenario is way easier than the backing that they taught us in the Top Gun. I hate doing 90s, man. I hate 90s. I don't know why, I feel like 90s is the dumbest way to back up. School didn't teach us about weight stations. So I had to learn that with my mentor. 
the route we took, we didn't need to use a workstation, so he didn't even really teach me for real. So I had to really learn by myself. You know what I'm saying he taught me a little something about it, but I had to really learn how to to weigh my truck and slide my tandem, so the weight could distribute all that stuff. I had to learn that kind of by myself because my training route, we didn't take no, we didn't pass by the weight station. So as I know, the Top Gun program it take two weeks off with your mentor, but the account I wanted, I wanted my mentor account, the PNG account. Because I wanted to be local like him, like straight out of Atlanta to Tennessee. Like I feel like I could have did that every day. So I asked him, how can I get on your route? And he was like, man, they're gonna be, they're gonna strip about it. They're not gonna let you get on. But I still tried to try. Like I still tried to get on that local route with Swift as a rookie. I already knew they was gonna buck on me. I was like, All right, I took my chances, so I'm gonna try anyway. So what I did was I tried to stay for two more weeks so I convinced them that I was more comfortable on that route so they could put me on it. So I stayed for four weeks total. After the four weeks ended, I was like, can I get on the route? Um, and they bucked on me. They said they didn't put nobody on that route, so I was sad. So I went two extra weeks for no reason. And <laughs> so I went ahead, I went Easter Regional. After I went four weeks with my trainer, I took my upgrade test. And I was out, they sent me out and I was rolling. It was the same things driving my mentor, just me being by myself with no help or nothing like that. Nobody got me, nobody, you know what I'm saying, tell me what to do. During my training, I did a lot of jumping hooks, but when I went by myself, I did just live loads. But other than that, I just been grinding. I just been working, I've been driving. I'm gonna get my experience and all that stuff. But yeah, man, I love driving. I love to drive. I be at peace while I'm driving. I love being alone. I love looking at the different sceneries and stuff like that. All right, switch y'all up. Swift cool, Swift a cool company. You saying it's a, it's a cool beginner company. You just gotta decide what you wanna do. You wanna um, do your career up with them. You wanna go to another company. There's so many different avenues, so many different positions you could you could do a truck do a truck. I could lease y'all a truck, y'all could be a come on an operator. Make sure you know which route you want to take. Truckers always warn you about the dyes and stuff like that, but I ain't really listening, so I had to go through by myself. Some truck top foods are not good for you. It's really enticing to eat, man, but you really gotta watch what you eat, to be honest. You really gotta stay active. Truck stops be so deep at certain times. Right now, it's right now it ain't that deep, but I like how Swift have so many different terminals so you could go there. You could chill, you could shower. So that's a cool upside about working with Swift. But other than that, man, here's what y'all been waiting for. Here's the pay. So with my mentor, four weeks, I got paid 700 to $800 per week. And going solo regional with Swift as a rookie driver, I got I get paid between 1000 and 1300 a week. And it, var it varies from how many miles I drive. And some of that money come from my bonuses as well. But 1000 13 is good for a rookie who's gaining experience. But it's just the average mega carrier rookie salary. It's more money to be made out here trucking. It's good while you're getting your experience. Like I said, you just gotta find your lane, find out what you wanna do. If you wanna stay with your mega carrier and have a career with them, if you wanna uh, find another company, it just just have your plan ready. But other than that's the end of the video, y'all go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click the like button, share. I got a lot of good content for y'all, so go ahead and subscribe so y'all can follow my trucking path. Stay tuned, we lit. All right, I'm out. For a while, I'm in the kingdom now. Big stepping in my holy boots, casting demons out. This one for the lost souls, Lord, bring them out. It's the last days, don't read your Bible, better read it now. I done dropped in this word, I'm gonna need a towel. At this, that one bush, I ain't gonna beat around. Cast the devil out your life, he wanna see you bound. You said serving God lame, you must be a clown. Devil try to take me out, yeah, I need my rounds. Eat my spirit food, that's the word, and gain three more pounds. I've been knocking demons out, feel like Debo now. And it ain't no next up, he said we got now. I heard thugging for the Lord, but I ain't need no brown. Pride cut before a fall, take your ego down. God took away my pain, I don't need no loud. I done turned it up a notch, cause the beat don't pound. Devil trying to trick you out your life, man, don't be deceived. Better follow God's plan, man, don't be no Eve. Fill my cup with holy water, I don't need no lean. For the Lord, I hold it down, but not P.O.P. Try to figure out my life, he said, lean on me. Running in the holy field, I ain't need no cleats. Had to leave the streets alone, I ain't see no peace. For the Lord, I took a stand, I